the North Parra River has burst and it is causing flooding right along through the Barossa Valley. We met with Miss Woodford's son and daughter this afternoon in Fregon, the Aboriginal community where Miss Woodford resided. Oh, cucumber, my cucumber died. You see, deep water like that, you can't go inside, you see. Just to give you an idea of how much water is still here, the levels in this channel have only dropped about two centimetres in the last two days. So it could take up to three weeks for this area to completely dry out. There's also a lot of people here today who weren't affected by the fire, but have just come here to support the community. And with all of the funds raised here today going back to the fire relief, I can't think of a better way to spend the afternoon. The South Australian Government still has $50 million on the table for whoever buys the steelworks. And while the Commonwealth has already provided $50 million in loans, the State Government believes it should spend another $100 million to ensure its future viability. People who were in the caravan park at Tanunda were woken up at 2am this morning and told that they had to be evacuated. For decades, old laws have discriminated against people in the LGBTIQ community. This afternoon, Premier Jay Weatherall followed in the footsteps of Victoria and said sorry for the pain and suffering that has caused. The closure of Alinta Energy's mine at Lee Creek has been known for some months now, but the future of many residents here remains unclear. If this site is chosen, the facility would take up about 100 hectares of this 25,000 hectare property. The federal government is expected to make a final decision at the end of the year.